Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to work in my art journal and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. And the theme is travel or traveling. I want to use like a stamp that is like an airplane or a boat but I really don't have those. So I came up with the idea of using a paper this is from one of my cardstock papers that I have and I thought it would be nice to use this because this is like a cruise and it's coming from Venus, I believe, or Istanbul. Other two. It doesn't matter really. But it's kind of pretty. It's a cruise and then you know you, you get certain things on the background. It's re it's really, really vintage. So I think I'm gonna use that for this. Now, I have already prepped my art journal with some gesso and uh, it was really easy to do then now I want to do some preparation as well uh, in order for me to use uh, the background and all that and uh, I want to use tissue paper for this and the way I'm going to use this I already ripped up that little piece over there and what I want to use is this in the bottom here and then I will put this on the top now, to do that, I'm going to use my Mod Podge. So, you know, if you have your Mod Podge ready, just go for it. Best stuff ever. Well, not the best stuff, but you know what I mean. It's really cool. Like, I really like using Mod Podge. A lot of people don't like Mod Podge, really. But, um, I do. I mean, as long as you know how to work with it, I don't think you have any problems with it. But a lot of people don't know how to work with it and then they get all frustrated. But I do. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a little bit of that Mod Posh, put it on the back of my paper, and then I'm going to paste that here, right here where I want it. And I'm using as well a paper on, on the back so I protect the other pages. So there we go. So you see, I'm going to leave the borders out so because usually the borders are the ones that are missing some of that Mod Podge. So it really doesn't matter if you use Mod Podge but on top of the tissue paper because anyways you're going to throw some of that on top of it as well. So the paper can grab the bottom paper the way it should be. So you don't worry about how much. As long as it's not like way too much you know it's it's perfect you just have to know how to work with it that's all because if then if you put too much it's too much humidity and then things will start wrinkling it will never dry out so just put a little bit on the tip of your brush and spread it out there we go so you see now I got my paper all set up with my mock watch. So I'm gonna put my rushing water because I really don't want that mock watch to get into the brush otherwise I'm gonna have to throw it away and what I'm gonna do now is if you're listening to weird noises I'm sorry about that. I cannot do anything about it. It's, I got new neighbors moving next, like next door. <laughs> and I don't know, they're doing so much noise. So anyway, here we go. This is going to go on top of that. But this is still a little bit wet. And I'm going to use my, um, to accelerate the process, I'm going to use a little bit of my, um, heat gun. So here we go. Sorry. Sorry about the noise, guys.
All right, I think this is all dry up. So this is the deal. Since I put Mod Podge here, this is going to be kind of a plasticky cover in the top here. So the reaction of I want to use my distress stains, but the reaction of the distress stains is that actually they will fade out a little bit because this is like a plasticky thing. So let's see what's going to happen. Usually what it does is that they don't, they kind of slide a little bit and then the stain colors won't go through, but we'll just, you know, use distress stain broken china. No, I don't want to use broken china. I want to use faded jeans if I have it. Have tumble glass. Yeah, faded jeans is right here. This is faded jeans. Okay. And basically, I want to use faded jeans on the bottom. Like, you know, the boat, it's on the water. And that's what I want to do. So, you see what I mean? Some of the paper is grabbing the ink very well. And on the top of the tissue paper, it's going to slide through because actually, like I said, it's kind of like a plastic -it feeling. And the texture, obviously, see you see how it's different colors. So that's fine because water obviously have different colors. So it doesn't really matter. And then for the rest, you know, we have colors here that are like gray, and then we got colors here like the like orangey and yellow. So for that, I think I'm going to use a little bit of, hmm, probably bundle sage or tumble glass. Tumble glass is kind of blue. I think bundle sage, it will give me more of that grayish tone. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, it's kind of grayish, greenish, so that's fine. Because I really don't have gray, and I think that tumble glass is not going to give me that gray color. And then we want yellow and oranges. And to do that, we're going to use mustard seed. And we're just going to go ahead and like kind of like combine both. So I use my mustard seed, and then I'm going to use my spice marmalade, which is orange. Just like that. So now I have like a sunset as well. See, very easy guys. So now that I have all my colors set up, I'm going to have to use again to, you know, accelerate the process. I'm going to have to use my heat gun again. So here we go. Okay, remember you want this very dry uh, in order for you to work, you know, back and forth if you're going to add more paint, if you're going to add more inks, if you're going to add a bunch of things. So, you see, now I have my background kind of set up, and it kind of matches up a little bit with what I was working on. So, um, well, while I was working on with this picture. So... The way I'm going to put this here is going to be with Mod Podge as well. So just I'm just going to grab my Mod Podge again, get my brush, and 
I think I'm I'm ready to go with it because the brush was um you know beside me on uh, water but uh, here we go so we get a little bit of that hot potch right yeah I'm gonna get a little bit of that mod potch and then we're gonna put it in the middle don't worry if the colors are gonna kinda like mix anyway this is gonna be covered with the paper so I'm gonna use another white paper here to put some of that mod potch in this paper there we go and then see we're gonna use this right here in the center that's exactly what I wanted it So you see all the combinations of color are blending very well. So I got this uh, vintage kind of like crazy colors going on. Um, but to tone down a little bit the background, I'm going to have to like probably set it up with something else. And for that, maybe I'm going to have to... Well, either use my acrylics or I'm just trying to think what is like the best way. Or probably ink it. Ink it. I think inking is a better, better result, guys. Inking would do a great job of what I want to do. So let's see. Let's see how, how we're going to ink this. To tone it down a little bit because the background is kind of very bright so I just want to you know get everything together and to get everything together I think I'm gonna use my I'm gonna start probably with my vintage photo which is my favorite as usual and then try to see if it works or if it's too dark, then probably I'm gonna have to move on to a different to a different set of ink. But so far so good. Just to give that you know tone to kind of like blend with the picture. I'm just I'm not gonna like tone it down too much. And I just a little bit to give that sense of vintage. See how it's toning down the colors? So now it's kind of blending a little bit more. I'm going to actually go on top of the picture a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now, what else can I add to this? Stamps. Let me see if I have um, something that relates to travel. Will be great. I think my... Uh, yeah, I think my, um, I got a few, well, I got this set of, sorry about that, I was trying to think which was the best, I got this travel set here, um, I've been using this quite a bunch. But hey, you know, 
I don't think it's going to harm at all using some of them again. So, I want to use... I want to use the word bombayage. Maybe I can do a little bit of close up here so you can see exactly what I'm going to do. Like I want to, you know, put something here. Now the question is, should I use black or should I use kind of like a brownish color to uh, stamp over this? Well, we can try both. Usually black, you know, stands out more. Uh, but trying brown or, yeah, like a brownish color would be great. I'm going to get my block here and I'm going to put the word on voyage right there. And I'm going to use my archival ink coffee color. So let's see how that works. But since I used the vintage photo to tone down, maybe using a brown here would do kind of like an impact. And that it's not that strong, you know. I'm going to stamp this right there. So I got the word bombayash. Kind of messed up there a little bit. <laughs> and I'm going to clean my stamp. And we can use I think I can use um have here like a set of little stamps. I usually like to put this on red because the combination between black, brown, and red, it's like a passport kind of thing. But I'm going to try this with brown. Okay. I'm going to use the coffee archival ink again. So we're going to just stamp it right here. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to do a little close up again. It's kind of blurry a little bit. And then I can use the red ones like I told you I can uh, actually stamp 10 cents I love using the red ink and for that I have this um, Studio G it's kind of like a burgundy color but it's really good because it's, it's, it's not you know it's not um, distress so when you stamp an image with it, it's quite amazing. It gives you a very good contrast on the colors. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Kind of stamp it below. There we go. See this right there. One hand and did that. So now I can use as well this one over here. I'm going to use some of that red again. They're like seals. So, it's kind of cool. And then, I can always use some... Um, the world. This one is kind of tricky because if you're not using like a really fine ink, 
it's kind of difficult to make it work. Actually, I don't know. I think this is like this. Oh, maybe. It's not even grabbing the color. I'm just going to try. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This, I don't know if it's because it's not well made or I don't know what it is, but it's kind of hard. This is like the trickiest stamp I have to stamp. See, it looks like a seal. It doesn't even look like a map. <laughs> but hey, I try it. Okay. Looks like we need something else here, right? So I'm going to go ahead again with my little stamps. Whoa. Ooh, that was a little mistake there, sorry. I want to create like that passport environment. That's what I'm trying to do. And it's quite working a little bit. I have another little step here that we can use. We can go ahead and use the red again. And put it right here. There we go. It's quite really fun using red. Red and brown, they go very well together. Um, and then, I don't know, I kind of like have something that is missing there, but I don't know what, what I can actually put in there so I'm gonna put this like on a side so I'm not gonna fix it right here it's gonna kill my time so I'm gonna put it on the side and then oh great I <laughs> really block went down the trash oh boy okay archival ink goes the red ink goes well I don't know let me see Okay, here's my block. Just recreated. It went down the trash. Sorry about that. Okay, so I got something missing here, but I don't know exactly what. Uh, maybe a sentiment. Could that could that work out? Hmm. But with the sentiment, I have to be, like, really specific. Uh, and I know that um, Tim Holtz has a great, great sentiment for this. Let me see. Well, at least for the stamps I have, I think I can use a stamp that says, Enjoy the Journey. Yep, that's the one. And you know what? I'm going to do Enjoy the Journey with black. Because I want that to be like the focal point. See? Enjoy the Journey. Kind of works for me. So, to stamp, Enjoy the Journey. I'm going to have to use my bigger block. Okay. Like right there. It's gonna be enjoy the journey and we're gonna use Versafine ink. So 
ink that very well. And stamp it right there. And it couldn't be better. <laughs> so there you go, guys. There is my work of art for the day. I hope you like it. I'm going to do a little bit of close-up so you can get a little glimpse up of it. So here you go. Enjoy the journey. Bon voyage. My boat. Going to Istanbul. Probably departing from Venus and going to Istanbul, right? And then the map here. And there you go, guys. That's how you make an art journal traveling theme for, for for anything you like really. So thank you so much for watching and if you like what you see please rate, comment and subscribe and thanks for watching. Goodbye.